Good afternoon, dear colleagues, guests. Today is the 1st of November 2021, 3 p.m. Moscow time. Let us begin the meeting of the Decision Council on defense of Rosai Stanislav Saleryevich, applicant to the scientific degree of the candidate of history sciences, major 561, uh, national history, the activity of authorities uh, in the city of Sofistopol in 1941-1942. Our decision council was approved by the order of the scientific secretary of St. Peter's State University, Gnotov, uh, from the 19th of August, 2021, number 8137-1. I, Hodokov Mikhail, Doctor of History Sciences Professor, Professor of the Department of the uh, Contemporary History of Russia, am appointed the Chairman of the Decision Council. Let me introduce all the other members of the Decision Council. Kovalev Paris, the Doctor of Historical Sciences, the Leading Scientific Officer, uh, Yelena, Doctor of Historical Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Department of Social Studies, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Krinko Yevgeny, the Doctor of Historical Sciences, the key uh, scientific officer, the Federal Research Institute, the Southern uh, Research Center of the Russian Academy of Arts. Uh, Roman Oleg, a doctor of historical sciences, professor, professor of the national history, the Federal University of Crimea. Timothy of Alexei, doctor of historical sciences, professor, um, Belgrade University, Serbia. Vidigan Sergei Gennadievich, doctor of historical sciences, professor, the head of the Institute of History, political and social sciences, Petrozovotsk State University is in the remote access mode. The applicant himself is present today. Rezaev Stanislav, as well as the scientific advisor, Doctor of Historical Sciences, Professor of the Department of the Contemporary History of Russia, Petrinkov and Sergeyevich. In order to improve The connection, and uh, I'm sure that you know perfectly well, so kicking out of it, you need to mute your sound and then turn it on when you're given the floor. I'd like to remind you that audio and video broadcast is being conducted on the St. Petersburg State University website and simultaneous interpretation is being carried out. During the live broadcast of the Decision Council, one can find the email address where during the meeting all the listeners might express their opinion and send their questions online linked to the thesis and the current scientific discussion. The technical services will send me the questions and I'll voice them. The questions should be related to the presentation by the applicant and related to the content of the thesis. It is necessary to give information on the uh, name, surname, position and job of the uh, person asking the questions. Otherwise, the questions will not be voiced. In accordance with the procedure of awarding scientific degrees of doctor and candidate of sciences, further on the procedure. The meeting of the Decision Council is considered to be valid if uh, no less than two-thirds of the approved membership of the Decision Council is present, not less than three people. Our Decision Council consists of seven people, or seven are present. One, in the remote access note, audiovisual contact is provided. Thus, there is a quorum. I would like to ask the officer of the dissertation uh, work of the dissertation councils, the curator of the defense, to issue a turnout list. The following regulation, uh, the timing is about two hours. Brief 
report by the applicant, uh, by the chairperson on the applicant's documents submitted. Brief report by the applicant identifying the key provisions of the research. 15 minutes. Three questions to the applicant. No more than two minutes per question. Four answers by the applicant. No more than 10 minutes per all questions. Five. Participation of all the members of the decision council with their appraisal and their reviews of the thesis. And brief speech by the applicant. Speech by the chairperson with the review of the thesis, about 10 minutes. Seven answers of the applicant to the remarks of the members of the Distation Council. Eight, open discussion. Speeches of those present with three questions and remarks to the applicant on the topic of the research. All those willing to ask questions or participate We ask to register in the turnout li list and to present yourselves before speaking. Nine, voice in the questions that were received via the broadcasting website on St. Petersburg State University website. Ten, answers by the applicant, no more than two minutes per question. Eleven, the speech by scientific advisor. Twelve, Discussion by the members of the Decision Council before the open roll call, the results of the dissents. The sound is muted for about five minutes. Open roll call. Voice count by the chairperson of the Decision Council with putting information to the minors of the meeting. 14. Uh, Taking the decision on awarding and non awarding the scientific degree and the final word. Dear colleagues, are there any questions as for the regulation? If there are none, then we proceed with the meeting. Please turn off your mobile phones. Thank you. Do I start the meeting? The thesis by Rosas and Salvaladevich. For the scientific degree of candidate historical sciences, major 561, uh, national history, the activity of bodies of the city of Sevastopol in 1941-1942 was adopted for, for the defense by the scientific secretary of St. State University on the 30th of July 2021, number 7661-1, reserved in Slavoj made the research paper on the basis of St. State University. Scientific advisor is Pichin Kovalev and Sergeyevich, the doctor of historical science, is professor of the Department of the Contemporary History of Russia. The number of publications of the applicant with the key provisions of the thesis, according to the list given of five. In the indicid publications uh, from the list of um, Ministry of Education of Academy of Russia, three. Uh, none in Web of Science and Copus. The applicant provided the full package of all the documents for the defense. All the documents comply with point 12 from section 3 of the procedure. All the documents provided by the applicant, according to information that I have received from the curator of the defense, comply with the requirements and can be found in the attestation file of the applicant. Their copies can be found with the officer from the uh, department of the work of the station councils who is present at the meeting. Prior to giving the floor to the applicant, I would like to ask the members of the station council. Dear colleagues, do you have any general questions to the applicant? Is there a need to voice the entire list of the documents submitted for defence? No. If you do not demand it, then we can proceed. The floor is yours. You have up to 15 minutes. 
Good afternoon, dear members of the Decision Council, dear guests. In my speech, I'll try to briefly talk about the main thesis of my dissertation research. The history of the Great Patriotic War is undoubtedly one of the leading trends in Russian historiography. Traditionally, researchers are most interested in studying the actual military operations. However, in recent years, an increasing number of historians have turned to various issues of the history of the rear, the topic of the functioning of central and local authorities. Revealing the general and regional features of the work of power structures in 1941-45 requires further expansion of the geography of the research. In the history of war, a special place is allocated to the 25th 250-day defense of Sevastopol will become a vivid example of a long-term retention of a completely blocked seaside city and the symbol of the unity. The military aspects of the Sevastopol defense were duly reflected in domestic and foreign historiography. However, the multifaceted activity of the city authorities to strengthen the rear of the Sevastopol defensive region and organize the daily life of the urban population or the siege remain insufficiently studied. Only certain areas of work have been relatively thoroughly investigated. The thesis about the great contribution of the authorities and residents of Sevastopol strengthening the defense is recognized without being supported by specific facts and documentary base. We believe that without a detailed study of the work of civil authorities based on archival documents, it's impossible to reconstruct a comprehensive picture of the events. Thus, the purpose of this study is to conduct a comprehensive analysis of the practical activities of the civil administration. Uh, based on the goal, the following research objectives were identified. Describe the organizational structure, personnel and features of the functioning of local authorities, as well as the mechanism of implementing decision taken at various stages of the city's defense. Next, to identify the main areas of work of local authorities in the military defense sphere, that is military training of the population, organization of volunteer formation, the, de the development of the uh, air defense. Uh, third, consider the activities of authority in the field of organization functioning in the military industrial complex of Sevastopol. And fourth, characterize the work of authorities in the field of food supply, medical, social, and cultural provisions of the city population. The object of study with the civil administration body is the function during the defense of Sevastopol in 1941-1942. The subject of the research is the activities of the city authorities in military defense, military economic and social spheres, aimed at supporting the front and strengthening the rear of the Sevastopol defense region. The chronological scope of the work is limited to the period from June 1941 to July 1942. Thus, the time interval from the beginning of the Great Patriotic War, when the restructuring of the work of civilian administration began, and uh, Till the seizure of Sevastopol by the troops of the 11th Vermont Army is covered. The territorial scope of the study is limited to the city of Sevastopol as part of the Balaklava region of the Crimean region, which were subject to the powers of the City Committee of Full Union Communist Party of Bolsheviks and the City Defense Committee. The basis of the resource base were made of published and unpublished documents, which can be divided into the following groups. Legislative acts and central and regional authorities, local government regulations, clerical documentation authorities, uh, organizations and enterprises, personal documents, and periodic press. In total, when preparing the thesis documents from 40 uh, funds and uh, seven archives that used, as well as documentary collections of four Sevastopol museums. The documents of the uh, Crimean ASSR and uh, Council People's Commissions of uh, KSSR are of most interest. It is also necessary to note uh, those published and unpublished memoirs that are stored in the archive in Simferopol. There is a Republican archive of the Republic of Grameer. And in the museums, in particular in the museums of Sevastopol. 
The novelty is uh, the following. Uh, with the involvement of a wide range of resources, um, the activities of the authorities of the city of Sevastopol leave during the defense of 1941-42 were analyzed. The structure of local authorities were identified. Uh, the qualitative characteristics of the activity of the authorities were analyzed. The following information is submitted for the defense. Decisive role in the structure of local government on the eve and during the defense of Sevastopol was played by the City Committee of Defense, headed by Borisov. The chronological framework and content of the activities of the emergency governing body, the Sevastopol City Defense Committee, at different stages of the city's defense, has been clarified. The committee became a full-fledged administrative center only in May, uh, June 1942, that is, on the eve and during the third assault of the city. Third. Significant efforts of local authorities were aimed at the implementation of military defense measures. That is military training of the population, formation of militia units, strengthening the air defense system. Four, the city authorities took part in the creation and development of the military industry, while the military council played a decisive role in the area throughout the entire defense. And in November, December 1941, the Republican authorities played the key role. Next provision. In the besieged city, the city leadership, with the support of the military council of the fleet and the leadership of the Crimean Republic, managed to take measures to provide the population with food, medical care, and to also organize cultural services. And the final. Provision. The analysis of the work of the City of Committee of All Union Communist Party of Bolsheviks, the City Defense Committee and the Executive Committee of the City Council, allows us to draw a conclusion about the great contribution of civil and governing bodies to the creation of three other Sevastopol defense regions. The uh, work is structured in the following way. It consists of introduction through chapters, conclusion, list of references and literature. Let me briefly formulate the main conclusions of the thesis. On the eve of the Great Patriotic War, Sevastopol had a special status as the main base, naval base, of the Black Sea Fleet, and at the same time was the largest centre for military ship repair in the region. Well, this circumstance had a significant impact on the interdependence of the local party and social uh, Soviet authorities. The principles of interaction between the city leadership and command of the fleet worked out before the war, uh, war created before the war, continued to operate even up after the war began. Um, Secretary Borisov became the head of all the work of um, many bodies of the city. The autonomy from the authorities of the Republic increased even more, which was caused by the need to promptly resolve, resolve emerging issues in the emergency conditions of war. At the same time, uh, until the beginning of the siege of the city of Sevastopol, emergency governing bodies were not created despite the fact that the front was gradually approaching the Crimean Peninsula. As another city of the Soviet Union, um, the City Party Committee was engaged in the implementation of a wide range of defense activities, primarily in the field of military training, formation of people's militia units, and development of local air defense. City authorities, to a lesser degree, developed the uh, industrial production. Significant changes in the work of the local authorities took part in Sevastopol by the end of October 41. And from that moment on, the, the search for an op optimal model of governing is being searched for. Uh, late October, November 4, uh, beginning of November, a complex management model was implemented in Sevastopol. It was based on the interaction of emergency structures. The City Defense Committee um, and Admiral Zhukov, they managed to detain the seizure of Sevastopol during the first day. Uh, 
After Admiral Oktabrski took the post of the commander, the activities and emergency structures were curtailed. Meetings of the Defense Committee were not held until January 1942. In November, December 1941, the structure of local government was, uh, in a way, original. The functionality was redistributed between the city authorities, city councils, committee, whose activities were restored after a break of 1.5 weeks, and the Crimea and Republican authorities, uh, who started from November, were located in Sevastopol. The key area of work was uh, overcoming the outcomes of, of bombing, improving the work of the industrial production, and organizing the everyday lives of the population. So in December 1941, more than 50,000 people remained in the city. apart from the fact that many more people were among the soldiers fighting. Starting from January 1941, several changes are in place. In the Sevastopolsky part of the German front, there is uh, the area of peace. There was a significant decrease in the intensity of our elderly attacks and position around the city. The Republican leadership has departed to the liberated Kerch Peninsula. The work of the city's defense committee was restored, which functioned in parallel with the city party committee. The functions of the governing body haven't been fully delineated. The winter and spring of 1942 was marked by the active work of the city authorities in various fields, including strengthening of air defense, mass military training of citizens. Uh, these are the months uh, when many industries worked very intensively, and many of the industries uh, exceeded the norm. It's necessary to point out that these months of winter and spring of 1942, local authorities played a crucial role in creating the atmosphere for everyday life of the citizens. The majority of the population had live in uh, newly erected buildings. Also, the activities of cultural establishments were put in place. Starting from May 1942, in connection with the defeat of the Soviet troops, the preparation for repelling the third stool began in Sevastopol. New circumstances made it necessary to centralize the administration as much as possible. The Defense Committee and personally Boris coordinated the work of all organization institutions of the city. They organized their contact and their cooperation. Thus, the thesis of an outstanding role of the City Defense Committee is valid only in relation to the first days of defense of Sevastopol and the third assault when the committee became the administrative center. When preparing for the defense, Massive German air raids were carried out on the city, as a result of which the stubble was completely destroyed. The entire city infrastructure was destroyed. The activities of city authorities were reduced to organizing the rescue of the population, followed by evacuation and conscription. Despite difficult conditions, until the mid of Ju June, special uh, production service number one continued to operate until mid-June, which produced military products. To sum up, it should be emphasized that on the eve and during the defense, local authorities, primarily the city committee of ASSR, headed by Boris, have acted actively and productively, taking a significant amount of work to create the rear of the South Double Defense District. The secretary of the 
city committee, relying on a circle of Queen's associates as well as small staff managers, successfully dealt with areas of work with the most important under siege condition. Military training, population development of the air defense system, participation in the work on defense industry mobilization of, of to help the front. The full of Sevastopol was due in purely military factors. The authorities were continued continued until the last days of the defense of the city um, working and operating. The majority of representatives of the city completely started the fate of the December of defenders of Sevastopol. Dear colleagues, are there any questions to the applicant? Uh, questions related to the report or to the thesis? There are none. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to move on with the speeches by the members of the decision council. Uh, I'd like to point your attention to the following thing. Since all the reviews were published on the website of St. Petersburg State University, I'd recommend you to uh, voice or to speak about the key questions and remarks to the applicant. If we didn't receive any external notes, any external reviews, as far as I understand, then we proceed with voicing the reviews by the members of the decision council. The order might be any, but Let's start in the alphabetical order. And Virgin Sergey Gennadievich will start our discussion with his remarks. Can you see and hear us? Yes, everything is fine. Sergey Gennadievich, the floor is yours. Dear Had person of the decision council. Uh, I will not go into voice my re entire review, which is very positive. The novelty of the topic, its uh, logical aspects are quite clear. I'd like to talk about some remarks and the conclusions. Despite all great positive aspects of the work, it is necessary to point out uh, at certain um, disadvantages. It's worth noting to say that more detailed comparisons with the activities of local authorities in other regions uh, should be conducted, primarily with the authorities of Leningrad and Odessa. Uh, well, this can be explained by uh, the lack of such work and be explained by the uh, limited volume of the research paper. Secondly, the applicant not only disclosed the issue of participation of the authorities in the construction of defensive structures. It is mentioned that uh, citizens participated in summer, autumn, uh, 41, but it's not very clear how participated in the defense construction during the siege. It is necessary to note out that certain works were not presented by him, were not carried out by him. It is necessary to pay attention to the number of articles dedicated to the different years, which were worked, which were created dedicated to the years of the Great Patriotic War supported by the Russian Foundation of Fundamental Research. All the above mentioned remarks are of recommendation type and do not have a negative effect on the high mark of the thesis by Rezaev. The thesis can be considered uh, separate and vivid images of the Great Patriotic War. Imagine that you are to speak at a high level and it's necessary then to uh, provide additional information to the thesis and the thesis can be used as a monography uh, with additional information and the thesis itself complies with all the requirements by the uh, scientific secretary of St. Petersburg State University. 
the rules of the procedure of awarding the degrees hasn't been violated. The applicant deserves to be awarded the a degree of the candidate of sciences, major 561 national history. Points 5 and 11 haven't been violated. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Sergei. Станиславу Валерьевичу предлагается после каждого отзыва члена Совета давать свои комментарии, пояснения. Would recommend the applicant to answer their remarks after each of the speech by the members of the Decision Council. Thank you very much for your remarks. I'll try to briefly address them. As for the first one, indeed, it was necessary to to delineate a clearer comparison between Leningrad and Odessa, since these uh, cities can be compared to Sevastopol. But unfortunately, the volume of the work uh, could not encompass this area as well. As for the uh, construction of defensive structures, according to the documents uh, obtained, civil population was involved in the summer of 1942 and in winter of 1942. During the remaining months, as far as I understood, uh, military personnel participated. the infantry uh, units and the members of the defense of Sevastopol. As for the third remark, which is a very critical one and with which I completely agree, in this case, uh, these are certain articles that were published in 2021-2020. Mostly these are the colleagues from Sevastopol State University. That's a um, number of articles dedicated to economic and everyday regular characteristics of life in Sevastopol and during the defense of Sevastopol, 1941-42. Uh, the uh, articles linked to the work of the defense industries. So I will try to use these uh, works when writing monograph later on. Thank you very much for your remarks. Thank you, Stanislav Valerievich. Dear colleagues, and first of all, Sergei Gennadyevich, are you satisfied with the answers? Yes, I'm completely satisfied. I heard all the necessary information. Thank you. Now we give the floor to Kovalov Belis Nikolaevich to voice the review. Thank you very much. In the native and foreign historiography, different aspects of the Great Patriotic War have been identified. But nevertheless, there are many issues that are to be addressed and reviewed. Probably, these can be done with the help of the introduction of the archive documents. Sometimes it's necessary to review the documents which are in scientific use. And when I familiarized myself with the text of the research thesis of Rosario Stanislav Lirich, what I'd like to say, this uh, thesis allows us to have a broader view of the defense of Sevastopol during that tragic time. We love talking about victories of 45, 44, uh, and the special importance of this research is in, lies in the fact that it is dedicated to the tragic events of the beginning of the war of 1941. What is more, this thesis gives very interesting material, material to consider, and I agree with 
uh, Vatican in here uh, to consider the comparative analysis. Uh, it's necessary to compare it with other cities, other uh, Black Sea cities that were able to prevent um, the enemies from getting into the city. We know uh, how heroic Sinistabal stood in this respect. Another positive point of the research paper is the broad use of the materials, not only of materials found in the central archives, which is a necessary thing, of course, but uh, he quite substantially worked with the archives of the Crimea and Sevastopol. And in here, I want to talk not only about the archives of uh, Sevastopol, but also I'd like to mention the living history because the applicant familiarized himself with private documents, which are not well known even to the specialists in the major. Although we can see that the work of the applicant with the documents is rather substantial. Nevertheless, I'd like to voice a number of uh, remarks. Well, despite rather broad use uh, of the reference material, I would recommend the applicant to uh, familiarize uh, himself with the materials of the Commission on the History of War at the Russian Academy of Sciences that were collected during the first months and years after the war. This is what our academic structures were doing. Uh, they have the documents linked to the defense of Sevastopol. So this is how interesting this source uh, is. I myself was not working on uh, Sevastopol, but I was working on the siege of Leningrad. Next, when the applicant discloses the problem of the interaction between the military personnel and the uh, civilians and um, party authorities, it's necessary to understand that such an important issue, and this indeed is a really important issue, uh, the process of the evacuation of the population is the key work, was the key work of the local authorities under these extreme conditions. So more attention should have been dedicated to that aspect. It is well quite clear that those who could protect themselves, these were women, the old people, the uh, small children, should be paid attention to. But unfortunately, uh, what is more, unfortunately, the text of the thesis uh, has certain mistypos and geographic and lexical flaws. And uh, the thesis itself complies to the regulations uh, for the research paper. The manuscript should be worked into a monograph, taking into consideration all the remarks voiced and the entire uh, range of different readers interested in the history of our country and the history of the Great Patriotic War might be interested in such a monograph. The dissertation by Stanislav of Lady Vichy on topic the activities of local authorities of the city of Sevastopol in 1941-1942 complies with the key requirements by the order of the 1st of September 3, 2016, number 68. To one slash one on the procedure of awarding scientific degrees at the Federal State University. The applicant, Rezav Stanislav Alekhevich, deserves being awarded the uh, Candidate of Sciences Academic Degree Major 561, points 9 and 11 of the above mentioned order haven't been violated. Thank you. The member of the Decision Council, the Doctor of Historical Sciences, Professor, the key uh, scientific advisor of the Russian Academy of Arts, Boris Nikolaevich Kovalev. 
Please, Nikolaj, thank you very much. Stanislav Valerievich, the floor is yours. Please respond to the remarks. Boris Nikolaevich, thank you very much for your remarks. Indeed, the materials of the Commission on the History of War went to use, uh, but of course, it contains the materials linked to the history of Sostropol. These are uh, some uh, memoirs by Admiral Oktabrsky and Borisov, probably. And in the future, we are planning to use these materials. As for the second question, as for the process of evacuating people, well, uh, this issue was partially disclo disclosed in the beginning of the third chapter, but the topic is so vast and so interesting that it deserves a special, I suppose, section, because a great number of materials can be found in the Serpilopal archives, as well as work in the central archives can is going to be planned and maybe further on there will be a separate research because since this topic is extremely interesting and the processes are really interesting at different stages of defense as for the third remark a grammar and a typos. Yes, I will improve uh, on that. Unfortunately, there are some uh, mistakes. They were noticed post factum. There were some uh, stylistic mistakes and orthographic mistakes. Thus, uh, the recommendation is when uh, preparing the mono monograph, you need to find a good editor. Thank you. Boris Nikolaevich, apart from the grammar errors, are you satisfied with the answer? I'm completely satisfied with the answer. Thank you. Yelena Evgenievna, then this floor is yours. Please voice your review. Dear colleagues, my review on the thesis by Rosayev Stanislavetlevich on the pressing uh, historical topic is overall positive. The novelty is above doubt, so I'm not going to ponder upon it. Very positive trait of the work is the fact that it provides historiographic analysis that shows that the author deeply analyzed all the knowledge that is directly and indirectly linked to the problem. The thesis shows the dynamics of the development of historiography uh, in periods and the level of um, analysis of certain topics. The complex and comprehensive analysis of the sources is positive aspect of the thesis. The applicant managed to use a great amount of factual materials from regional and certain archives, and many of the documents found in the thesis uh, were brought into scientific circulation for the first time, which allows the applicant to uh, consider the issue in details. As for the novelty of the research, it is beyond doubt it is determined by a number of conclusions made by the applicant, which can be found in the sh concise uh, review of the work. The thesis itself is logically structured. It has the goals and targets identified, consists of the introduction, three uh, chapters, and the conclusion. As for the positive aspects of the dissertation, it's worth noting uh, a number of disadvantages. First, when uh, analyzing the work of the authorities in the military age in the region, uh, the applicant should have analyzed the personnel composition. Was there a personnel shortage? And if there was, how was it solved in the event of the defense of Sevastopol? Secondly, Boris Nikolaevich has already mentioned that, and I do agree, the author used 
uh, private documents, which is a positive aspect of, of aspect of the thesis. But nevertheless, uh, the thesis would have been even better if more active bibliographic method was used. Uh, it would have been better to have a look at the personalia of the uh, representatives of the uh, authorities. Maybe this will be included in the monography. Maybe in the form of appendices, you might do that. And as for the final chapter, the work of the authorities in uh, supporting motherhood and childhood, the most vulnerable categories uh, are children who were provided with food at a lesser degree. Were there any measures of support used in the uh, above considered region? In my opinion, this issue is not fully uh, represented. Were different uh, public of feeding outlets were used, what uh, social practices were used in the event of the defense of Sevastopol. I'd like to say that the above mentioned remarks do not pertain to the negative aspect of the thesis, but are of recommendation. Thus, the thesis by Rasai Vsinsav Valerievich, the activities of the authorities of Sevastopol, comply with the major requirements on awarding the scientific degrees of St. Petersburg State University, and the applicant, Sinslav Rosayev, uh, deserves being awarded the scientific degree candidate of sciences, major 561 national history. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elena Evgenievna. Stanislav Vladimirovich, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. I'll try to uh, be brief. I agree with the remarks completely. As for the personnel shortage, this problem is partially uh, dwelt upon in the second and third paragraphs of the first chapter. There was a shortage of personnel, which was linked to mass evacuation and conscription in October, November 1941. Um, new young workers uh, were coerced into joining and into working. There uh, experience uh, in the party was uh, relatively uh, s small, and when working on my thesis, I created a database where the workers of uh, Sevastopol uh, were found, and the basis of this um, document are the archive entries that can be found in uh, free access mode. Thus, it became possible to analyze the biographies of many people, starting from the education, nationality, the level of education, and so on and so forth. We are planning to create an app uh, when preparing a monography. As for support of motherhood and childhood uh, were mentioned. That is the uh, work taken up by Sevastopol authorities, and it includes additional food, the work of uh, um, kindergartens among the examples. In 1942, an orphanage uh, was created. Thus, the key, the key decisions uh, taken by the central authorities uh, could be found there in Sevastopol as well. It's necessary to pay uh, attention to the targeted evacuation of children, which started from the very first days of the war, long before the defense of Sevastopol. Uh, 
Uh, many materials could be found in the Republican archive. And um, this issue is finalized with the defense of Sevastopol. Out of 50 or 60,000 of civilians, about 30,000 were children. And the uh, city authorities had to work about it, and it was a rather mundane work. Thank you. Helena Vienna, are you satisfied with all the questions? Yes, thank you. I got the information that the database is being created, or the database of personalia is being created, and it would be great to have a look at it, and your monography would uh, have been even better with it. We understand that the volume of the thesis is rather limited, and it is impossible to include all the data that we might be willing to include. <clears throat> but you can include in the monography. We give the floor to Evgeny Fedorovich Krinko. Dear Chairman and members of the Education Council, as my preview and my colleagues, I'd like to note that Rosav Stanislav Valerovich, who presented the thesis on top of the uh, activities of the authorities of the city of Sevastopol 1941 42, um, for the uh, scientific major of candidate of sciences, uh, uh, major 561, national history. Uh, the choice of the uh, topic is uh, pressing an actual one. I would like to talk about the critical aspects of the work. Um, in the official review, uh, you can read that the applicant analyzed a serious um, number of documents, including the archive and museum documents. Nevertheless, the applicant uh, didn't sufficiently work with the material of central uh, published press, although they provide a lot of information on the topic in question. The uh, Subsequent remarks are dedicated to the specific parts of the thesis. In the first chapter, the author analyzes the work of the local authorities on the eve of the defense of Sevastopol. And the author uh, gives several um, conclusions based on the work of local authorities. The uh, Council of uh, the City Defense did not determine the work of the industry. The um, commandment of the fleet paid more attention in that. But it should be uh, noted that the um, fleet archives should be used for this purpose. The work of the authorities of Sevastopol before the um, defense and uh, during the defense, the applicant talks about the uh, organization of the military education and the creation of militia as the first volunteer organization on the territory of the Crimea. The author says that only after the second uh, attack on the city. Uh, this decision was taken. And this idea looks rather too uh, far-fetched. In the second paragraph, the um, applicant talks about the air defense systems, but the overall conclusion is a little bit blurred. Further on, I'd like to pay attention to the fact that the author uh, analyzed in details in paragraph three the development of the local industry its stages and identified the causes of the decrease of the production of the limited range of products. Uh, nevertheless, the um, information on the, the monthly uh, turnover and uh, regular turnover uh, figures uh, would have added to the thesis. 
as for as for the reference materials there were certain typos nevertheless all the above mentioned comments do not decrease the importance of the thesis and the uh, dissertation work by reserve is a research carried out on the present topic of regional history which is uh, grounded in large variety of historiographic sources their research has a significant influence on the scientific discussion of uh, the study of the defense of Sevastopol. The results of the work can be found in the number of publications. Thus, I can say that the thesis by Rusayev Sinstal Velidovich on the topic, the activities of the authorities of the city of Sevastopol 1941-42, complies to the main regulations and requirements established by the order of the 1st of September 2016, number uh, 7812-1, on avoiding the scientific majors. And um, Rosaev Stinsalvadeci deserves to be awarded the scientific major uh, of the candidate of historical sciences. Points 5 and 11 were not valented. Thank you very much, Stanislav Alegevich. The floor is yours. I do agree that there are certain mistakes and for Gafrican uh, uh, star mistakes in my work, which will be looked upon when preparing the monography. As for inadequate use of central press, this is a very important remark. Only certain articles were used. And a significant number of articles published during the war and after the war in thematic volumes, uh, articles dedicated to the defense of Sevastopol. Um, my future work will be included. So I'll pay more attention to the articles uh, from the central press. And the correspondents of these newspapers uh, were present in Sevastopol during the entire defense. I will pay special attention to the appendices uh, dedicated to the volume of production and uh, the production of specific materials. Unfortunately, the volume of the thesis didn't allow me to make a separate appendix. As for the militia, this issue has to be analyzed separately. Um, there are very few materials linked to the uh, militia of November, December 1941. It is obvious that in the beginning of November, the uh, division of these militia stopped existing. Uh, later on, s separate self-defense bodies or units were created, and the uh, popular militia was reorganized in May 1941. Thus, this issue has to be separately analyzed as well later on. Thank you very much for your remarks. You begin for the Are you satisfied? Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to Alek Valentinovich Romanko, uh, dear chairman, dear members of the station council, I will not talk about the formal aspects of the remark, which can be uh, viewed on the website. I would like to say that the topic for the defense is. Uh, really important. Maybe it is even a topic of priority in um, historiography. 
the applicant talked about the novelty in details. As for historiography, it was analyzed uh, in great detail. I suppose that it comprehensively covered all the works that can be used for this topic. And the source base is rather representative. Colleagues mentioned the um, some of the flaws. I will move to the comments. And the majority of the comments are uh, mostly of recommendation type. Firstly, the historiography is rather comprehensive and it shows all the aspects of the uh, topic. But it would have been to um, use the historiography of 2014. And if it is different, well, in which way is it different? Secondly, if we talk about Sevastopol State Council and other structures, uh, of organizing life in the besieged um, city. The author compares it to uh, Leningrad, the situation in Leningrad. Uh, is, it, um, com is the comparison appropriate since in Leningrad the uh, communication was not interrupted with the mainland? Then the process of interaction between the party and Soviet bodies of Sevastopol and the Crimean Republic requires uh, specification. In particular, it is necessary to uh, ponder upon the role of the latter in the defense of Sevastopol. Stanislav Rezaev talks a lot about the military industry from uh, June 41 till July 42, about its structural and functional aspects, but the um, appraisal of efficiency is lacking. A remark. Um, it might be necessary to indicate this prospects of studying the topic. Which aspects of the work of the authorities of military Sevastopol uh, need require uh, further research? I believe that anti-Soviet sentiments um, should be studied. Since I believe that I have mentioned such aspects, but these factors. Uh, remain without an evaluation. I believe that in order to study such aspects, it's necessary to use the document from the intelligence services archives, which might be taken into uh, account when publishing a monography. Nevertheless, the above mentioned remarks uh, do not undermine the positive evaluation of the work. This is the work of the uh, perspective young researcher with a high quality. The content of the thesis, apart from the articles mentioned above, can be found in 27 other publications and uh, three monographies is co-author. A couple of weeks ago, I um, was participant at a conference where the applicant was presenting the results of the work. Thus, uh, the thesis by Reserve Students Life complies with the main requirements according to the order of the 1st of September uh, 2016, number 6821 1 on uh, the procedure for awarding scientific degrees and things like reserved is have been awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of historical sciences major 561 national history points 911 haven't been violated thank you for your attention Alek Valentinovich thank you very much since Valerievich the floor is yours Alek Valentinovich thank you very much for your remarks I'll try to answer them briefly as for the historiography a number of um, publications were not taken into account. We used the articles by the um, uh, workers of Sevastopol University. Unfortunately, Amon Gamalvin's work hasn't been studied, and this is an oversight. 
So little attention is dedicated to the work of the authorities in some of these works, but this is lacking. As for the comparisons of Stifel and Leningrad, well, I suppose that yes, it is appropriate to compare those two cities. Um, Leningrad was besieged and uh, The bird of life in Leningrad existed, and if we compare it with uh, Odessa and or with other bases that were besieged, um, is rather appropriate, especially if we talk about the activities of the local authorities. Not many works are dedicated to this specific topic. As for the interaction between the party and Soviet parties, the so and Crimea uh, Republic, in a way, this uh, issue was studied in the first chapter, but it requires further research for it lacks documents uh, from the uh, Crimean authorities. The uh, minutes of the meetings of November and December 1941 are missing, and they uh, contain the information about the creation of military industries and defense industries. As for evaluation of effectiveness of military industry, uh, well, I do agree with this remark absolutely. It should have been uh, studied in more details. As for the role of the local military industry created in November uh, 41 is rather high in providing everything for the military personnel. If we talk about mortars, and mines, but we should not exaggerate its importance since during the entire defense, uh, during even the uh, third siege of the city, there were there was significant shortage of ammunition. As for the prospects of studying the topic, um, there are certain topics that are interesting and linked to my topics, not only under Soviet sentiments and other topics. Uh, of course, it, mm, there are certain difficulties with the access to the intelligence archives, um, to the funds of uh, the defense councils. The reports by Borisov might be used, uh, for example. They contain certain information of importance. As for the promising topics, evacuation of population, um, that deserves a full-fledged uh, research, especially if we use the archive of the Krasnodar region to find the information about the future destiny of those who were evacuated. What is more, a separate monography might be dedicated to the Sevastopol industry. Certain aspects are not considered in great detail, especially if we take uh, and cover uh, enterprises. There was an uh, enterprise of the production colony number seven, which was part of the network of cooperation. And if we move a little bit more from uh, the topic of the thesis, that's the occupation of Sevastopol. Currently, this topic hasn't been studied in detail. As for the works, uh, work of the industry and life of the citizens from 42 to 44. Thank you very much. And even I'm satisfied, yes, with the uh, answers. Now we move on to Timofeev Alexey Yurievich. Dear colleagues, I'm the last person voicing my remarks and I'll try not to 
reiterate the above mentioned points. I will only say that the thesis by Rosario Zavladevich on the topic, the activities of authorities in the city of Sevastopol 1941-42 is important for historiography. In the topic of the first months of war, when everything was not going on as planned, and the history of failure is very often much more difficult than the histories of victories, especially the histories of uh, heroic failures. I'll move on with the remarks and certain comments. First of all, I would recommend within the framework of future research on the topic or work on using the thesis as a monography and I uh, think it deserves um, being used in the monography. To pay more attention to the mechanism of interaction between civilian authorities and command of the Black Sea Fleet. The information of the Central uh, Military Marine Archive in Gatchina could be of use. And the activities of uh, the Military Council and interaction, maybe there were more specific types of interaction and regional archives are not very restrictive with researchers and uh, compromise might be found. On the other hand, as it was uh, noted, the documents of the party archives on the level of army party archives contain pretty much the same information that uh, can be contained in the archives of the intelligence uh, offices about the anti-Soviet sentiments. In this respect, the most interesting ones are the issues of uh, cooperation, expectation or non-expectation that could be found in the initial period of the war on the territories of the Russian Federation. And the final question that these were my theoretic propositions, proposals rather. And the second uh, comment or question was that the national factor on the defense of Sevastopol, in which, uh, to which degree, did different uh, ethnicities of the citizens of Sevastopol played a role? In it, or there was unity of the people in Sevastopol. Um, the above mentioned remarks uh, do not decrease the value of the thesis. The thesis corresponds to the requirements. According to the Order 6821-1, and reserves in South Asia deserves to be awarded the scientific degree of candidate of historical sciences, major 561, national history points 911, or the above mentioned orders were not violated. Doctor of Professor of Philosophy Alexey Yurevich, Doctor of History, Professor of Belgrade, thank you very much. Sinsel Valerievich, the floor is yours. I'll start with the final question about the national factor. It plays a certain role. Well, I'll move away from the local authorities. We need to pay attention to the idea that in December of 41, uh, uh, three, four 
five, four, eight, and four noun uh, divisions, uh, mostly from the people of Caucasus, moved into Sevastopol. These uh, divisions were uneducated in the military um, uh, knowledge, and the problem was in educating because of the shortage of the personnel. Because there wasn't enough personnel who could educate. And this problem was clearly visible. And uh, this information was found in the documents of the party council on deserting of certain ethnicities, as they were called at that time. There were many nationalities, but it played a role. During the third attack, the three divisions, three, four, four five, uh, 88 and 86, did uh, their best. As for civilians, in the reports, I found the information, certain sayings by the representatives of certain ethnicities, which were welcoming, uh, in a way, Germans. Such sentiments were found. Maybe they were not overwhelming, but they uh, could be found. Thank you, Alexei Yudovich. Are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, I'm fully satisfied with the answer. Thank you. Alexey Yurich was not the last a speaker. Uh, I'm the last speaker as the chairman. Dear colleagues, well, you can find my review on the website. And since it is largely complimentary, I will be even more brief than you were. Uh, Boris Nikolaevich uh, mentioned the stylistic errors. Yelena Evgenievna touched upon the issue of uh, food uh, supplies. Alexei Yudovich mentioned that it's necessary to use the fleet archives. Uh, we all paid attention to pretty much very close ideas. I'd like to pay attention to one more aspect. When characterizing the ways of solving the food problem in Sevastopol, the applicant, in my opinion, didn't uh, um, fully cover the issue of the introduction of the card system in Sevastopol. The, um, on the August of 41, uh, the decree uh, was issued on introducing the card system. Then the text says that starting from the uh, September, the card system, according to the card system, allowed the possibility to get a flour instead of bread. Thus, I could understand, according to the text, that starting from August to September, the cards were introduced. Olga Bergholz, in her uh, siege diary, writes how uh, painful it is for her. And the norm of providing the food supplies to the supporters uh, uh, of the defense in Leningrad and Sevastopol, the norms of Sevastopol and Leningrad were pretty much the same. And only in January and February, more than 200,000 people died from hunger in Leningrad.
this technical issue uh, is not as important in the next remark. The thesis is um, scientific research, uh, which is well grounded in the source base. And the author talks about the history of the defense of Sevastopol in 4142 and talks about the perspectives of studying the problem in the future. It's necessary to note that Reserve is the author of a number of articles and sections of uh, monographies dedicated to the works to the work of the authorities in Sevastopol during the Great Patriotic War. The thesis of Stanislav Valetti Rezaev, the activities of the authorities in the city of Sevastopol, complies to the main requirements of Order 6821 or slash 1 on awarding scientific degrees in Sevastopol State University. And uh, Stanislav Valetti deserves being um, awarded the scientific degree of candidate of historical sciences point points nine and eleven uh, have not been violated the head of the decision uh, council a doctor of historical sciences professor hodkov you might respond to my remarks thank you very much Mikhail Viktorovich. The comparison maybe was not uh, quite right. Um, in Sevastopol, there were problems with the food shortage, but maybe it was not right to compare it to Leningrad. As for the date of the card system, unfortunately, we did not find the documents <clears throat> identifying the date. It is obvious that it took place somewhere in August, September 19. 41, but unfortunately, it's impossible to identify the exact date, so additional research is needed. Thank you very much. So this uh, shows the perspectiveness of the research, what all the other colleagues have already mentioned. According to the procedure. There is nobody willing to uh, give speech, and we haven't received any questions uh, via the website. Alexander Sergeyevich Kuchenkov, as the scientific advisor, please, the floor is yours. Uh, say a few words about the work of the applicant, please. Dear colleagues, I'm sorry, I didn't know that I had to speak from this first room. I want to say that the history started in Yugoslavia about two years ago, where I met, met Stanislav Ruzaev. I was opponent of a different uh, defense, uh, and Stanislav was the scientific advisor. And when talking to Stanislav Vladivich, I was shocked that uh, he was still not the candidate of sciences. And uh, Stanislav Vladivich said that he wants to be the candidate of sciences and sent me the work of 800 pages. And I explained that this is out of the scope of my expertise and we started the work together. I explained that the book and the uh, dissertation are different aspects and together within a year, a year and a little bit more to create 
a thesis. Currently, the thesis, in my opinion, is absolutely ready. I'm absolutely sure that it complies to all the requirements. I'd like to say that Stanislav Valerievich is a great specialist. I believe he's one of the best professionals in the history of the defense of Sevastopol. Probably not only in our country, but around the world. And he writes beautifully. And I consider uh, that he has a very significant scientific potential. And he should also share his knowledge with students. As a supervisor, I'd like to say that all the time that I was used to working with Stanislav Valerievich, uh, this work was really captivating. And I do believe and I hope that the members of the Decision Council will support his application. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander Sergeyevich. As far as I understand that we are coming to the end of our discussion. But before we move into the voting procedure, I uh, have to ask each of you, do the members of the decision council and the applicant have any remarks about the procedure of the meeting? Those linked to the remote access mode, mode as well. Stanislavodilievich, do you have any remarks, questions, objections? Sergei Gennadievich? No. I'm in the road access mode, but I, I could see and hear everything. And we could see and hear you well. Boris Nikolaevich, no remarks. Yelena Evgenina, no questions. Evgeny Fedorovich, no objections and remarks. Alek Valentinovich, no objections and remarks. And Alexey Yuryevich, no objections and remarks. I don't have any questions and objections to myself. I tried to comply with the regulation. Next point is voting. It's very important. Section. We have two options. We uh, announce a break, um, mute the sound, or uh, we all have uh, made a decision, and then there is no need to uh, announce the break, and we'll simply con continue the working. Then we do not announce the break and we continue. I raise the question of awarding reserves in Slavic the scientific degree of the country of history sciences, uh, major 561 national history. Announce the open roll call. I need to stress that when Voting for each member of the decision council agrees that point 11 of the regulation was not violated by the applicant. Citing. In the thesis, the applicant has to refer to the author and the source of materials and results. Uh, when using the results of scientific works, uh, used by the author in co-authorship has to be identified in the thesis. I suppose that it was uh, not violated and everything is done according to the regulation. I'd like to remind you that the decision of the decision council is considered valid if no more, or no less than half of the participants of the decision council, no less than three participants. According to point 17 on the regulation on defense of 
scientific degrees. Appendix number two, to the order of the 1st of September 2016. Thus, colleagues, according to the order that we were given the floor, I am asking for your opinion. Sergei Gennadievich Virigin, your opinion, please. I vote for, thank you. We heard and saw. Kolov Boris Nikolaevich. I vote for. Thank you. Krasnozhanova Elena Evgenievna. I vote for. Thank you. Krinkov Evgeny Fyodorovich. I vote for. Thank you. Robin Kole Valentinovich. I vote for. Timothy Belikseyev Yulevich. I vote for. And I also vote for. As for the vote count, that's rather easy. We have seven members of the City Council. Thus, I announced that out of seven participants, seven people voted for, against none, abstained none. The decision in awarding resides in Salvador to the scientific degree in Canada of Historical Sciences Major 561 National History is adopted. Dear colleagues, uh, since our meeting is held with the participant in the remote access mode, do the members of the decision council or the applicant or other people present at uh, the defense questions and objections on the procedure of the meeting and I require answers from everyone including the applicant since love objections no none Sergei Gennadievich no everything worked well thank you but is Nikolaevich no Evgeny again none. Evgeny Fyodorovich Grinko, none. Everything is in accordance with the regulation. Domenko, everything is fine. To my fave, no objections. I also have no objections. Now we give the floor to the applicant for the final word. I would like to thank all the members of the Decision Council who voiced their decision on my humble work. And I'd like to especially thank two people. That's my first scientific advisor, social professor, candidate of historic sciences, Eric Igorovich Nurzin. And the Doctor of Scientific of Historical Sciences, Professor of St. Petersburg State Universities, uh, and the Court. Thanks to these people, I uh, succeeded in this defense. Thank you very much for your support. Sislav Adelievich, we'd like to congratulate you. I declare the meeting closed. Dear colleagues, I'd like to thank you all for participation, especially those who came to us from foreign countries and those who are in the road access mode. I understand that it was mm, time consuming. Thank you. Надо отключить трансляцию, закончим работу формально и официально. Спасибо.